the first thing we're going to do is download the Unity Hub and open it. You're going to agree to a lot of the terms here. Uh, pretty standard stuff installing it. Uh, it does take a little bit. This might even be sped up. Once it's complete, just finish the setup. It'll close down and it should open like a new setup here. You'll need to either create account or sign in. I've used Unity in the past before, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Great, once you've done that, uh, you can go ahead and launch and log in to the Unity editor. Um, it'll ask, you know, do you wanna install it at this location? What I typically do is go make sure that nothing in the repository that this is the kind, this is the right Unity editor that we need. I hit go ahead and it'll start installing Unity from the Unity Hub. This does take some time. I'm going to probably speed through this pretty quickly. Um, so once this gets done, we'll be right back. Boom, we are done, install complete. You can see it's built in three of those packages there and we should be go, we should be good to go. The next thing you'll notice is this no active license. So no active licensing, go to manage license, click add, you'll see a bunch of different ones, activate license, serial number, get a plan for your team. I just set up a personal one, just agree to it, there you go. You now have a personal license to use the Unity for that project, and that fixes that issue. And now we can actually set up a project and get started getting the ML Unity uh, project items, packages, whatever you want to call them. I think the next step here is to actually clone the toolkit. It took me a while to read, so I just... Um, spent more time reading there. I'm going to uh, the folder where I want to store my project and I'm just going to call it Unity Agents. And within the agent, I'm going to, or within that folder, we will be cloning the repository. This is where things started to get more difficult. So if you haven't been listening, uh, I would start now. So uh, because I'm dumb and I don't really know how to use the Anaconda prompt, I was having a really hard time going to the actual folder. But finally, I got there and I went to go git clone. And look, uh, git is not recognized, which I found extremely strange considering that I was in the Anaconda prompt. So I did thought I'd go back to the folder where I created the Unity agents. And I thought I would just open up the terminal from that place, tried it again, got nothing. Okay, Git is not something that I have installed. I think it would take me quite a bit longer to figure this out. And at this point I was like, what am I gonna do? So like most people, I tried to troubleshoot and we tried a few more things here. I do have the GitHub dashboard here and I decided to go to where my Unity Agents folder was to create a new repository and clone it in there. As you can see, it's been a while since I've used this tool, so it's taken me a while to figure out where I need to go. Once you've navigated to the correct folder, We can paste in our git clone, which this didn't work. And I'm thinking, well, okay, I guess that doesn't work probably because that's a command line and this tool probably doesn't understand command lines. So I thought, well, okay, I'll just type in the actual um, 
basically the actual URL. And I made sure to select the ML agents folder again. And the reason I didn't do it this way is because there's a branch release 18 option, which will get the latest stable release. And I think if we do it this way without that, we would be cloning the entire repository, which A, would be really, really expensive in terms of memory, but would also uh, just not maybe give us the most stable version. So I wanted to really figure out how I could do it, and I went to Stack Overflow. And this is where I started to actually get answers. Like most things with coding, it's just best probably to just start looking it up online in Stack Overflow instead of trying to figure it out yourself. Although that is probably the best way to learn is to try to figure it out on yourself first. And so I opened up the Anaconda prompt and went ahead and did that. It took a bit to download and install. Not too long though. Yes. Cool. So now that we have Git installed, I should theoretically be able to go back to the folder where my Unity Agents is and clone the repository into that folder. We'll grab the Git command and hit run. And voila, we are now getting it. This has been a really condensed version, but this took me a lot longer to figure out. So I was pretty happy, but little did I know there would be another problem I'd have to figure out. Unfortunately, this is where I lost all, basically where the, my recording stopped, the nothing was cloned into that folder, and it's because I ran out of memory. Now, in the actual, um, in the actual instance, I had less than 4.7 gigabytes, but I thought I'd take a picture after I deleted some stuff out just to show you guys what it was looking like. This was very unfortunate. I had spent a lot of time trying to figure things out, and then all of a sudden things stopped and uh, threw a big wrench, but I forged ahead. Once I had cleaned up my, basically my computer, I went back and you can see there very briefly that I had like 87 gigabytes freed up from before. I went back into the folder that I wanted to get to. I then opened a terminal, but I probably had forgotten that I needed the Anaconda prompt. See, and I forgot that I had done this through the Anaconda prompt, but no worries, I think I fix my mistake here pretty quickly and we post it in here after we navigate to our folder this is one of the things I'm trying to get better at this year is using the command line and working from the command line a little bit more Jupyter notebooks are just so fun to use and work with but it does rob me of some of these better skills that I should learn that really will open up the horizons here now that we're here We'll clone, finally. Second time is a charm in this instance. And I'm just going to speed on through this guy. This is quite a lot of information, which is why I clogged up my computer before. So we're going to speed on through here by 800. Sweet, now we're done. Okay, now that we've gotten the repository cloned, we can now install the Unity package into a project. Unity is pretty cool, but it is quite cumbersome. So we just create a new project here. You'll be provided several options. Um, I think the easiest one is just to do a 3D core. This is just like the default 3D project that we'll be using in future videos. I 
I gave it a name, ML Agents, Setup, and we create the project. Bada bing, look at this beautiful image. Now we have to wait for Unity to load. It takes a while. Like I said, it's a pretty cumbersome piece of software here. Um, so just give this a minute. Now that we're inside the editor, we need to find the package manager. This takes me quite a bit because it's been forever since I've opened up Unity and things have changed. I would say for the better though. I find it pretty quickly. And in here, once things load, I need to then find the ML package. According to the guide, it says you just need to look up com.unityMLAgents. So I just copied that, came over here and searched for it, but we get nothing. So it looks like we'll have to do it the manual way. And I was again thinking, oh, go, oh boy, here's another headache. But actually the manual setup is pretty simple. Um, once you've cloned the repository into the folder that you want it in, it's, it's easy to find and you just need to grab certain files from there and throw it into your um, package manager. But you'll see if I scroll down that there is this local installation guide here and it has five steps. We need to find the package manager, add package from disk, navigate to the folder that we're trying to copy and then just select the package JSON file within that folder. All right, so there's really just two steps. Three of the steps is just finding things in the UI. Now that we're back here, add package from disk, it'll bring up your data management, navigate, once again, to the folder we've created, open it up. We're looking for com.unity. You can see I'm struggling to find it because I can't read. Where is it? Where is it? I ask. I almost give up, but I think let's try one last time. And I scroll up and there it is. Com.unityMLAgents. In here, we just need to select the package, hit open. And Unity does the rest, and it installs that package into the package manager. Great. So optionally, we can install the extensions. I chose to do it. Um, and you'll see the process is the exact same. And there it is. Grab the package, hit open. It'll install it really quickly, very fast. That is one nice thing about Unity is that these JSON packages work quite well. Great. Okay, finally, we're ready to actually install the Python package ML agents. And typically this needs to be done in a virtual environment. Not a problem. We've worked with virtual environments before in other videos, especially the one where I set up FinRL. Pretty standard stuff here, especially if we need to use older versions of PyTorch or Python, which we may, I'm not quite sure. So let's go ahead and do that. Back into our Anaconda prompt here, while we're in the folder, we need to create a new um, package or a new virtual environment. I don't really remember how to do it. So here I am researching and adding the link to my library and conda has very very good documentation that helps pretty much answer all your questions so i was just reviewing that it's pretty simple conda create dash name and then your environment i'm trying to read it and rewrite it as i see it but of course i get it wrong and instead of putting name, I put the name that I actually want. And so Conda's like, what are you talking about? I rewrite it, ensuring to include dad dash name, then the actual name of the environment that I want to create. 
Conda does its thing after I hit yes. Yes. Super fast. Now we just need to activate. Conda activate. And ML agents. Great. Now we're in the ML agents virtual environment. And we can then install ML agents Python package. Now, interestingly, the guide suggests that we install this version of PyTorch. And PyTorch comes pre-installed with Conda. And when I went to run this, as you will see, when I installed it, it said that there wasn't this version available to download. So if we copy and paste that into here, you'll see that we get this error. PyTorch isn't there. Also, there's an update on pip. Do you want to do that? And I was like, yeah, why not? Since we're here, let's update pip. So I go ahead and follow the instructions to install the new version of pip and upgrade it. Doesn't take too long. I'm like, great. Now that that's been upgraded, let's try doing PyTorch because maybe that was the issue to begin with. looking for torch could not find a version that satisfies the requirement torch so i was like okay um i'm just gonna take a stab in the dark here and hope it doesn't come to bite me i figured i have torch already with anaconda so i'll just go ahead and install ml agents and if i need that version of torch this will fail and as you can see everything is running great and everything was able to install including all the packages that we need so i thought great um, this should work as long as this closes out, which it does right here. And bada bing, bada boom. We have successfully finished the installation guide. We now can create machine learning agents within Unity, and we can start to visualize our agents taking actions within the environment. So this is really cool. So in the next video, I'll be going through some of the tutorials posted in this blog post here, and we'll actually start visualizing our agents and teaching them how to play volleyball and how to push a block around and how to hide from one another. Lots of, lots of cool stuff in this package. So stay tuned for the next video, and I'll show you how we can spin up our first environment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.